corona surpasses everyone we demand corona now from each other we need compassion yeah right compassion not only towards human beings each other but towards this animal kingdom See, those who have no hands and no mouth to make noise and protect themselves nature takes the revenge in this way pranam pranam this particular epidemic or pandemic has created such a furor that no one has escaped it yeah yeah absolutely no one can escape no country can escape it when they have brought the entire airline industry to a standstill travel industry to a standstill hotel industry to a standstill majority of industries are standstill i don't think such a worldwide episode has ever happened that one one of the film directors he gave me a very nice quote for this he mm. nature ne human beings ko apna aukat bata diya hai he <laughs> so true i mean yeah i mean we can't go on mess around messing around with nature you know best daji the amount of trees you have planted for saving the environment millions yes. how many millions did you plant Oh, not yet. We have crossed half a million so far. Half a million. Oh, trees in that one particular area, area. Kana, no? Yeah. Yes. Amazing. Yes. Amazing. Now, yeah. if everywhere everybody is playing against nature, hmm. someday, Aki, you will learn it, right? Yes. Okay. Let me teach you where you are. So I think that is where, at the loss of some loved ones, what can you say? But I think we have to learn the hard way and try to behave ourselves in the future. You see, I I feel this is a, a trigger. This is not the end of it. Yeah. Sankarji, when you look at it, uh, that one person who contracted this virus, which jumped from pangolin. Yeah. Pangolin is a kind of another animal which was widely consumed by the rich and famous in uh, in that country. Correct. It has it jumped from that. and contracted it you know and humans contracted one person contracted and you see from one person to few millions the whole hour. world yeah now we say that the we this country has reached a plateau or that country has reached a plateau or maximize or we have uh, control it in such and such a country i don't think controlling in one particular country would at all help because now the world has become one ball one you know one thing uh, you just cannot say i am protected in delhi or i am protected in new york and the rest of the world will be safe no it will not happen it is going to get migrated you like it or not you see and this problem is going to continue so daji you think that this is there is going to be a new normal that we have to apply to our lives and we are going to be we are going to be living with this and and uh, adopting certain new ways of uh, livelihood is that is that how it's going to be what do you think 100% shankar when you are traveling by air and you are going from mumbai to delhi and your co passenger is sneezing <laughs> what what will what will go through your mind at that time stress <laughs> there you yeah. go you will look at everyone as if he is a carrier of diseases sir it's a difficult time so where is where is all this going to end daji what do you think what is your perception how is this going to is there going to be a time when it's all going to come back to normal or it will just remain like this well normal see will come definitely or we'll make it a normal thing for our life this becomes our normal correct the new <laughs> normal Yeah. I think chicken is going to be the next wave of a carrier of many diseases. Oh, really? Yes. One scientist already pre- uh, predicted that if this trend continues, you know, trend which has been going on since all early 1900, one disease comes, right? It's okay. We get used to it. The next one is higher and more dangerous. the third one that comes it's even greater and now corona 
surpasses everyone. We demand karuna now from each other. We need compassion. Yeah. Right, compassion not only towards human beings, each other, but towards this animal kingdom. See, those who have no hands and no mouth to make noise and protect themselves. Nature takes the revenge in this way. Yeah. That's what I mean. This is, I think, some kind of statement nature is making against us, Daji, isn't it? Yes, it is. It is so. The sooner we learn, better it is for all of us. And what's, whenever such pandemics are there, it reminds us that compassion is a lot, lot better than non-violence. I may not fool, I may not say, okay, let this person be hurt. But if he's suffering, is it not my uh, duty? He has not come to beg you at your door, but when you see one of your friends, one of your relatives, or one of your person who came to you indirectly and suffering, you need to do something. Correct. So this act of doing something to me is compassion. So nature is also teaching us, upgrade your consciousness, upgrade your hearts. And show compassion. And to, Show compassion. And when we show compassion to others, I think it becomes a trend and the world will show compassion to us when we need so, it. So do you think, Daji, that if we genuinely start uh, distributing compassionate energy to the people around us, to the universe, the universe will also give us back something which is positive and which is which will benefit us and which will also make us happy stroke make i mean make this life worthwhile living you think so that is the best thing a human being can do what do you think i exactly think the way you are thinking you know there is a proverb in gujarati where i come from gujarat see that Means if there is no water in your well, how are you going to pull it out and uh, make water for your animals, cows or buffaloes? So if that compassion is not inbuilt in you, mm. if that compassion is not in your heart, it's not going to come out. Correct. If there is no love, instead of love, if you have hatred in your heart, that so and so is bad. So and so is only looking towards west. So and so is only looking only towards the east. So and so is always looking towards the heavens. You know we have prejudices for various people, various yeah. ethnic groups, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. That has to go. That hatred that prevails in humanity today is unprecedented, everywhere. While compassionate heart will not say. Or will not say, oh, come, so I am better than Shankar. Let me put Shankar down. Correct. In fact, compassionate heart would say, oh, Shankar is a great man. And this philosophy, uh, this attitude will go a long way. Suppose if I keep on thinking that I am great, I am great, I am better than Shankar. My guru used to say that there is nothing wrong in thinking yourself to be so great. Huh. But if you think that the other person is lower than you, then there's a problem. See? Correct. Always think the other person is greater than you. See? Mm -hmm.